What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button just down below the video. I'd love to have you here. I have all kinds of content already up on YouTube and lots more content to come covering knives and EDC, going over some preparedness type stuff, going over some bushcraft type stuff. That stuff will mainly be circled in amongst reviews and overviews, unboxings, disassemblies. Uh, I will be starting a cycle of that kind of stuff. Uh, there was a couple things I'd like to go over, so this introduction will be a little longer than normal. But I'm basically going to start a rotation of, you know, doing an overview, doing a review, a disassembly, an unboxing. That way things stay kind of fresh. And then I'll be throwing other things in as well, you know, like some sort of tools or gear or whatever it might be. Throwing that in with the, with the mixture of that cycle. That way it keeps things fresh and, you know, I'm not doing just unboxing videos or just doing review videos. That way it keeps things somewhat fresh on the channel. And then we'll be doing a mixture of other things as well, like comparisons or, the, you know, the uh, options are endless at this point. The other thing I would like to cover quickly is... From now on, on every video, I would like to start shouting out a channel or two. Basically, have you head over there after the video. If you haven't subscribed to them or heard of them, highly recommend you doing so. And you might ask, well, how? You can either search it up, which might be a little more difficult, but in the description of every single one of my videos at the bottom, you scroll right to the bottom and there will be a list of all the YouTubers that I recommend. They're all the YouTubers that I watch personally. Now, if you don't hear a certain channel being shout out here over time, it's most likely because they are already an established channel. I would like to focus on channels that are a lot smaller, under 5,000 subscribers, maybe some in between 5 and 10. But once you start getting up close to that 10,000 mark, you kind of already have your foot in the door of being established, so to speak. So I would like to focus on newer content creators or content creators who maybe have been around for a little while and just trying to give them a little boost. Uh, if you would like, you know, leave, go over, leave them a comment, let them know that I sent you over. If not, just leave a comment, let them know you found their channel and whatnot. There are tons and tons of good, small content creators on YouTube. It's not all just about the big dogs like Metal Complex and Nick Shabazz. Uh, so there are tons of good small content creators and guys who work really hard at making the content, whether it's ideas for the content or the video quality, the sound quality. There are a lot of guys who put in a lot of hard work into their channel. Uh, so I would just like to take a minute or two out of each of one of my videos, even though it might make it longer, give them a shout out and, you know, kind of help return the favor to the guys who came before me, maybe. But the first one I would like to shout out is Alex at 814 EDC. 814 EDC. It's linked in the description of my uh, videos. The other one is Rochambeau EDC. Both their channels will be linked in the description. They both are awesome, newer content creators like myself. And go on over there and check them out. Uh, Alex is 
He's really cool. Seems like a real down-to-earth dude. He's got real laid-back reviews. Rochambeau has awesome video quality. Got great sound quality. He's always coming up with some uh, various things to do as far as his content is concerned. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend going over there and giving them a sub. And if you would like, leave a comment in one of their videos. Let them know I sent you over there. So after all that long introduction, I do have an unboxing to do and a small change of some accessories. You see the Jaeger M and the Raptor V2 which are both from Brian Brown. I do have a package here from Brian Brown, so we might as well jump into it. So we will go ahead and dig in here. I know that was a long introduction, guys, but uh, sometimes there are things that need covered, and I would like to start doing that each video kind of give an update on various things and uh, give a shout out to some of these channels that I really like and that might need a boost uh, or maybe they don't need a boost and you know I just would like to uh, shout them out um, you know I'm sure they would do the same for me I'm sure at some point they will do the same for me so, first here, look at that, guys. <sighs> look at that. Now, that is a Zerkutai clip for, yes, the Raptor. And look at that. That is going to be awesome. So, why don't we go ahead and do that first. We will go ahead and, so this is going to be kind of a, a goofy unboxing and oh he did include include a pivot awesome so the only thing I'll need is either a zirconium or zirku tie collar whichever I can get to first but I thought to myself having the Jaeger with blacked out hardware and pivot and collars with the zirk that would be awesome so that's kind of what I went with. These are not zirconium, but they are black coated titanium. Look at this clip, guys. Oh my God. That is awesome. That is really cool. So I believe we'll put the Jaeger right there for now. So I do believe, yep. These are T8, and I went with, now you would, if you are interested in some Zerk hardware for your Raptor, Brian Brown's website, he's got them, and they are in stock. They're not near as hard to get uh, as the Zerk is for the Jaeger. So this is a nice easy install that makes a huge huge difference guys i'm excited as hell because i love the raptor it was a christmas gift from my fiance and i love this knife to death it's uh i love thumb studs and i love clip points it is a modified clip point. It's not real upswept like some clip points, which makes it nice for various uses. Go ahead and just give them a little tightening. There we go. Stanley Stubby, if you haven't seen it before. And there we go. Let me get this light on. There we go. Let me get this light over here. Oh, look at that, guys. And the light is not doing it any justice at all. 
that looks so good. Uh, it's night. It's a little darker, but that goes very well. Actually, they're both damn near the same. The same shade, I mean, and a similar pattern. Ah, uh, man, does that look good? Oh, yes. So we'll give him a little flick. Just look at the action, guys. I haven't done anything to this. Oh, it's ridiculous. Look at that. Whoop. Little sh little shakes, and then it drop. It just it wants to go home. So there she is, and I will have, he's got collars that you can get, a couple different things, and I plan on getting them at some point, but uh, that looks so good. I will do another video with this guy in it where I have some better light, but uh, there is the DLT exclusive Raptor with the Zerk clip, feels good. And we'll put the other clip in the baggie so we don't lose it just in case. Cause I do like that clip, but come on now. Zerk tie clip, let's go. So, should we jump into this one as well? Should we get the mat out guys? get the uh, disassembly mat out so this should be all T8 hell I want do we even have to disassemble it I might not well I probably should Yeah, I probably should. Because you know what happens when you try to cut corners, don't you? Something ends up getting messed up. Or it just doesn't work and you gotta do it anyway. So you might as well just do it right the first time. So we can classify this as a disassembly for the Jaeger. say they both should be out there's one it'll come out there we go there we go Look at that Zerk backspacer. This is the first time I have this apart, guys. So, uh, don't mind me. Give it a little wipe with our issuing stitches, Hank. Links below with the code GBALL10 for 10% off. So, I am going to have to take this guy off in order to get the new pivot through, which is all right. This has multi-row skiff bearings in it. Uh, that is our other collar. So all I will need now is a new collar for this guy. And so we'll go ahead and pour our new hardware right there. So this is a black titanium <coughs> hardware set. We will have to put the new car or the old collars back on. Is that? Ooh, that's gonna look so good, guys. Oh, yes. So what do we got here? What do we got? Oh wait, 
the washer is there. Okay. And should we go ahead and put a drop on there just just in case. You know what I mean? You can never be too safe. So we'll go ahead and spin that guy. We'll knock that guy off. <clears throat> I can change the other hardware after the fact. So we'll go ahead and give him a drop. Just a little drop. Rub that in. Put some on our bearing. And those are skiff bearings, like I said. So they, this is going to be pretty much all decked out, guys. The only thing I will actually need is the uh, collars, and I will be set to go. And I've wanted a Jaeger for a long time long time and i finally got one because of a brother in the knife community we did a trade for the mcnees and uh i couldn't be more thrilled did i screw something up or what's going on here What is going on? It's always something. Should be good. Should not. There we go. This is going to look awesome. I'm telling you. So what do we got here? So those are... So those are at least two of the body screws. Oh, you know what? Those longer ones are the clip screws, I bet. So I can change them clip screws out that are the satin. So we have, there is the lock bar clip. So we have two that are the, or we have two clip screws. We have four body screws, I believe. And then we have the lock bar screw which I hope I didn't just screw myself damn I might have I might have screwed myself I just put it back together and I should have I got an idea though this is what I'm talking about, though. You can't cut corners. Usually it doesn't work out for you. So, I'm going to try this, but... It's probably not going to work out. If this works, there's no way this is going to work. I have the worst luck when it comes to anything ever, so.
I think it's messed up. For sure. No way. I got it. I got it, baby. There we go. 20 minutes later, I got it. Just kidding. Try to do this quickly. See, that's the thing some people don't understand either. Is doing a disassembly underneath of a camera. You know, doing a disassembly is one thing. But doing it underneath of a camera and working around you know, cameras and microphones and all that sort of thing, it can get kind of difficult. And typically when you turn the camera on, that's when things go wrong. That's when you forget things because you're trying to kind of hurry. And uh, something always is bound to go wrong. Oh. The only thing that needs changed is that collar. And this thing is going to look... I mean, it already looks badass, but you know what I mean. It's going to look insanely badass. You know, I have a, a $100 screwdriver from good screw and I love it but for some reason I find myself using this most of the time so we got two left and boy you can tell these are finished very well these titanium screws okay last one guys and she will be all done. And this will be it until I can get some zirconium collars. See, that just kind of, I don't know, it gives it a little something, though. Those collars need to go at this point. She's still centered. Still fires like a jiggity. No blade play.
Oh, yes, guys. If anyone ever comes across any collars in Zircutai or Zirconium or even the Black Titanium, let me know. There we go. Yes. All right, guys. That will do it for this one. I love y'all. Thank you. If you stuck through the whole thing, thank you. I appreciate it. There is the Raptor with the Zerkutai clip. And there is the Jaeger. Man, that is a good little shot right there. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not subbed. I love you all, and I will catch you on the next one.